Jambo guys Today we are going to visit the Maasai village which is right beside the Maasai Mara National Park And uh, we have with us here a very special person Hi Daniel Yes So Daniel is a member of the Maasai uh, who live here And uh, he also has a has an authentic Maasai name Siololo Siololo yeah. Daniel has actually brought us here to his home yeah. So we are going to go and check out this Really cool village. Are you excited? Yes. I am the son of the chief in the village here. Mm -hmm. We see this village, we live about like a 200 people. Because the 20 family, we come from the same grandfather. Mm -hmm. Also, the boys you want to marry, we don't marry for this village because they are one family. So we have so many villages around here, we go together away. So we've just been brought outside the village now and Daniel said that all of the Maasai men are gathering to introduce Welcome us to us. their culture. So let's see this. <laughs> Do you know that dance is good for your special location? Sometimes you have some wedding, some ceremony. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have a dance like this one. Okay. And actually, anything the boys say celebrations mm -hmm. after killing a lion. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, here they are 15 years, boys. We go to circumcision of circumcise. Mm -hmm. So we just go to stay in the five years in the bush to learn about the Maasai jumping mm -hmm. and actually go to kill a male a lion. So after killing a lion, we come back to celebrations and also I can't marry. Mm -hmm. But can don't kill a lion, no way. Oh. So you must kill a lion and then you get away. Okay. And uh, also jumping, we mean like a competition. So the more you jump high, the more you get a beautiful lady. Mm. So that's how we do. Okay. okay. <laughs> Daniel was just telling us that all of this fencing you see around their village it is to protect from wild animals that come in from the forest. It's a very thick bush uh, with very sharp sticks everywhere and now we're inside the village. In this village there are about 200 Maasai living here. I see there are small houses circumferencing the village and in the middle they have so many cows. <coughs> Because the every different families, you must make the cows. Okay. Then you know, you know your cows. Mm -hmm. So that's how every family do market. Okay. Yes. This one, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. You don't grow any vegetable because of wild animals. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because we stay in the near the park, so yeah. when you do grow the elephants, they can't eat. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's, that's an attractive feature, yeah. right? For them to just walk in. <laughs> 20 yeah. families from the same grandfather. Yeah. So that's and why I told you the boys you want to marry, we don't oh. marry here because they're one family. Okay. Oh. So you must go to get a wife for another. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and typically, how many uh, wives can a Maasai man have? 
you depend you depend on cows you have but can you have more cows more wife maybe two wife or three wife more cows more wife yes oh wow yeah and uh, like what is the typical number of children in a family also the children no limit for children mm-hmm. okay. yeah maybe we get many maybe you can just get five or six okay yeah Uh, mm-hmm. This is my skin from my lion. Skin the lion, we yeah. don't eat meat. Brother. We bring the special things mm-hmm. we have, oh, the lion we have. We bring the oh. skin, that's a good for dancing. Mm-hmm. And actually bring the falconines, the lion we have. Oh. Mm-hmm. We used to have for good luck and for protection. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's big, huh? Oh yeah. It's heavy? The, just the fact that it's the lion's skin is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the last one. Oh, thank you so much. My nana na jangu mo yepu jaro. Allah do sab. Ya ho, ega jaro. Mama, kari kiro mo lesa nana ega. That's good. How does it feel to wear it? It feels like an honor. Allah do mali do jangu. Ena dina do go do. So far is ready So these are these are the back of the cedar mm-hmm. or dry grass. Okay, we do transfer to making to make a flame. Mm. So we have to blow in to make a flame now. Yeah. Wow! Potential for barbecue. <laughs> Ready for barbecue now. Nice. So this one we call a uh, cedar. Mm-hmm. Cedar wood. Uh-huh. We get the top of the of the mountain. Uh-huh. But this one we call a sandpaper tree. Okay. The sandpaper tree we just get around here. Mm-hmm. But you know the fire we come the mara of the sandpaper tree. Mm. So sometime we hot we used to make a burn tattoo. Ah, okay. Masai tattoo. Do you want one? No. <laughs> <laughs> So actually we just make fire once here uh-huh. and then we take it inside the houses. Okay. Yeah. So oh, so you make the fire once and everybody yeah, gets it. Yeah, okay. yes. And then we just to make we just We see first here. Yeah. Uh-huh. We have the smaller guest room. Okay. So maybe like a friends like you and and you want to spend here one night. Okay. It's a free commendation for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. But you can just sit here. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this is your wife and your mm-hmm. child. Yeah. So now I want to say welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. So this is my house. Mm-hmm. And actually we see this house we live about like uh, six people. Okay. Okay. Four children and two parents. But then you see this house we have like a three bed. Mm-hmm. We have the one bed there for the children. Mhm. And actually we have another one here for the parents. Okay. The one of the guest room. If your friends okay. like you and you want to stay here. Also, I really like the. Yeah, really. it's very nice looking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we change the houses. So it takes three months to build each house, mm-hmm. and you stay for five years. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another. I want to show you the most nice souvenir we make here. So this is a lamp. The canine from lion. Oh my god. <laughs> we used to wear for good luck and for protection. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's a canine of a lion. Oh, never thought we'd get to see one of these. Huh? Yeah. So just beside their village, they have a small market where all the women from different villages gather together and sell souvenirs. They have handmade bracelets, magnets and even clothes. That's right. And the most interesting thing we understood is contrary to what a lot of things on the internet say, uh it is actually free to enter the village so at the request you could just request the chief's family and they invite you into the village and you can come and experience the real masai life here 
uh, initially we thought it would be um, more of a tourist experience but Daniel here actually showed us how uh, a lot of the tradition is still kept so alive nobody is pushy about you know coming here as a as a visitor nobody is pushy upon us to do anything or to buy anything but that all of these people they work on a community based economy so they are here to help each other and when tourists come and whatever small souvenir they buy actually goes a very long way in promoting the life of the people who live here so you could buy something as little as a bracelet or a magnet and that actually makes a pretty big difference so this is like your traditional repair yeah that's the way we just put the stick okay. uh, the skin okay. the skin yeah it's okay just put in the pocket no 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 it's okay too much, <laughs> oh, too much. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ashi, Ashi, or Lesse? Or Lesse. Or Lesse. Did you enjoy that experience? Of course I did. It was so unique and so different. Especially when I went inside their house, it was like it was so small, compact, but so comfortable and it was very nice. It was a mud house. That reminded me of all the mud houses we have seen back home in India. Very similar. But the unique thing was their cutlery stand, which is very unique here. I've never seen that before. Of course, the most impressive experience for me was when they began dancing, the traditional Maasai dance. I was and hoping Namni also would dance along, I mean, would jump <laughs> along with them. <laughs> yeah, but I guess I didn't really follow the cue and I should have done it, but yeah. Now we are just waiting for Bonfis, our guide from Baboon Budget Safari to get us back on the vehicle and take us across the country. So, we actually thought that our safari journey would actually end right here with Masai Mara but turns out uh, because we've been filming these videos, something else has just come up. Uh, Baboon Budget Safari has actually invited us to come check out another camp of theirs in a very very special place. So in our next video you will get to know where we are going so stay tuned and thanks for coming along and exploring the Maasai village with us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.